My dad was a professional racing motorcyclist and I always wanted to be like him. I started racing motorcycles. I raced against John Surtees. I raced against Eric Oliver. All I ever saw of them was their leather-clad backsides disappearing into the distance. I would never have been what I wanted to be. And you know what they say, those that can, do, and those that can't, talk about it. So I started talking about it. Well, hello and welcome to the Frozen South. And let me say straight away that it's practically a miracle that this meeting is on. The first commentary I ever did was the British Grand Prix, 1949, the year before Formula One began. The BBC then got in touch with me and said, uh, British Grand Prix went well, Murray. Um, we've actually got a, a, a hole in the commentary team for the motorcycle races at the TT. Um, would you care to go? Would I care to go and do it? My father was the lead commentator. So maybe subconsciously I was trying to be like my father in another way. If I couldn't be like him on the bikes, I could be like him with a microphone. But this was how Surtees himself saw things. When Murray Walker spoke to him, immediately after he crossed the line. John, congratulations on a fantastic victory. What was it like and how do you feel? Well, I just feel very, very cold and I can't hardly move at the moment, but I certainly wouldn't like to have to ride another race. I always felt that my job was not just to inform. Anybody can do that. My job was a show business job to entertain. Most of the people who are watching me are not actually interested in the sport. They're not passionate about it. You've got to catch them as they're passing, get them by the throat and say, this is my sport, I'm passionate about it, I love it, and I want you to like it too. And you do that by enthusing them. But being enthusiastic is not something that you can put on. It's something that's inside you. Three lights, four lights, five laps. Pause. Go, go, go. And it's in his looking for. And he's going to go out. Oh, my goodness. This is fantastic. It's Schumacher. It's Schumacher. Senna is trying to go through on the inside. And it's happened immediately. This is amazing. And Pete Mack. Oh, my goodness. That's Mansell. That is Nigel Mansell. You've got an enormous bump on your head. Can you, can you let them see it? Right up there. Oh, I'm sorry. Bernie, it's some 17 years since you've bought McLaren. What do you remember best? I don't remember by McLaren. I don't know what's happened, but there was a major mal-misorganisation problem there. David Hill exits the chicane and wins the Japanese Grand Prix. And I've got to stop because I've got a lump in my throat. I am an emotional man. If it doesn't get to me before the end of the weekend, I shall be very surprised. I, I, I don't think it matters very much in life what you're interested in, chasing butterflies, chasing women, whatever, as long as you are interested in something. And the motorsport has always been my passion. So that's it then, folks. Um, that's the last from me. All I can say is that it always has been a pleasure. Goodbye.